Hey guys, what is going on? It's Techno Spider, and I am super excited today, guys, because I am finally able to bring you guys a full achievement guide for the Richthofen side of the Mind Games Easter egg on the new Black Ops 2 Zombies map, Barry. Now, before we start this off, I want to let you know that you do need to have the guillotine built before you can start any of these steps. There'll be a link in the description, so if you don't know how to do that yet, pause the video right now, and we'll see you back once you know how to. Okay guys, so now that you know how to build the guillotine, let's get started. Okay guys, so now we need to charge the orbs for our first step. The first one's located right here outside the saloon, really easy. All you need to do is charge that one up. Our next orb is located right here in the caves, and you just need to charge these up until they turn a whitish red color and there's a loud ding. So now we have that one charged up, we can go over to the back of the mansion, right here. And it's right there in the little corner. Just charge that up. We had a little trouble, but don't worry. It's all good. Just make sure that it gets the right color and you hear a ding. And then our last location is right here over by the church. And that is our last location that we need for the orb. So we're going to head us right into step two. Okay, guys. So immediately after you finish step one, you will see a blue lantern spawn. And it will float around the map. And all you guys need to do is you need to cook your nade. You can have to knock it down, as you see right here. We get it knocked down. It's not that hard, but it takes a little getting used to. So you'll see as soon as we knock it down, we go and pick it up right here. And whoever picks it up has to go into the witch's house and charge the lantern by killing witches or ghosts or whatever you want to call them. It's really not that hard. Um, you shouldn't have a problem doing it, but it does take at least 10 to 15 witches to do. So I'm going to skip to where we get it charged. Okay guys, so you can tell you that you're charging the lantern because there will be a series of dings that will go in um, order of basically pitch, I guess. So it goes low to really high and it takes a while, but once you get it, you'll hear Max's talk. And guys, it's really simple, so that's all we need to do for step two. Okay. Okay guys, so for the third step, we need to run over to this little uh, roof on top of the gunsmith and there will be a place where you put your charged lantern and then this code will pop up and you need to decipher this code because we need it for the fourth step. Now it's really awesome because I have a guide that will help you decipher the code and it's right here. It was made by Mr. Raffle Waffles. So if you guys would like to pause the video so you could look at this cipher, then you can. But we're going to move on to step four. Okay guys, so for the next step, we need to knife the signs that are located throughout the mines. They're scattered all over the place, but as you can see, the first one we knife is Consumption Cross, and these are all based on what your code says. So there's three lines of text, and then that deciphers into three different signs, and then you need to go and knife those signs. But you need to make sure you have Gulvan Knuckles for this step. This is essential. So you can see our second step is... Lunker Undermines, and then our third one is Dry Gulcher Shaft. But before you do the last one, guys, make sure that you have Vulture Aid bought, because you're going to need this for our next step, which involves being able to see stuff through many objects. So now you have Vulture Aid, let's move on to our next step. So now you can activate the last sign, and you'll see a Wisp will spawn, and it will move across the map, and it's nice to have everybody spread out in different areas, so it's easier to get the Wisp, so it doesn't die while you're trying to get to its each of its spawns. I think it has seven spawns. You can see it just moves around the map and Vulture Aid lets you see it so it's way easier to get it. And it'll move right next to me right here and then I'm always sure that I'm pretty sure that yeah the last um, location is always the power and then it will go right to the guillotine just run into there and that will complete step five guys. Now let's move on to step six. Okay guys so for step six we need to kill five charge zombies around the guillotine you know the zombies will be charged because the wisp will go into them they'll get charged up and then you kill them you only need to do this five times in a row and then you'll know you have it complete because all five wisps will be floating around the little crystal and we we'll see if we can get it right here so now that we know what to do we can move on to step seven Okay guys, so before we start this step, you want to make sure someone has time bombs as they are required for this step. So once you have time bombs, make sure everybody gets around the guillotine. Whoever has time bombs needs to place them down onto the guillotine, activate it, and then you will be put into round infinity. Now what you need to do once you're in round infinity is you need to go search the bodies of your characters who are laying down the floor and try to find a switch. Now, as you see on the top, it will say nothing was found, but we were lucky and we found our switch. I'll give you a couple tips right now for round infinity. So once you find the switch, you need to survive round infinity until it's over. It only lasts for about a minute to 45 seconds or something like that. But it's really helpful if someone has monkey bombs for this. 
And um, it's all kind of luck, guys. You, you won't always get it on your first try because this, I'm pretty sure the switch doesn't spawn every time. It's usually randomized. There's usually only like three bodies that spawn. Most of the time, not all four spawn. But as you can see, my friend went down, but that's okay because if you go down around infinity, time will be set back from where you're sitting by the guillotine and you'll have everything back. And it's highly advised to have monkeys in this in case you get into a sticky situation so that you can uh, make your quick escape. And don't even bother trying to kill the zombies in Round Affinity because you cannot kill them. But as you see, Round Affinity is over and I almost died. So whoever has found the switch, they need to place the switch onto the guillotine table. It's just like adding a part. But that's all it, so let's go on to our next step, which is step eight, the switch game. Okay guys, so for the next step, we need to go into the maze and start playing the switch game. So now that you've done all the previous steps, there will be four switches on the doors, and these will be in a random order every time, but they'll always be the same colors, which will be blue, red, yellow, and green. So what you need to do is you need to activate these switches in a specific order, but the order changes every time you start up a new game. So this can be very difficult, and it takes a lot of time, but you guys will get it eventually. And uh, here's kind of how we did it. So here's an example of how this works. There are sparks that will go off once you hit a switch. So what we did was we hit three switches, three of the four switches randomly to see if we got a right order just because. But then we hit the last switch, which was the green switch, and it sparked. So that meant that green was the last switch. So it will spark if it is in the correct order. So I have a list of all the possible combinations for the uh, switches and I will put that in the link in the descriptions below. So basically once we found that green was the correct switch, we uh, went in order and we put did all the possible combinations for green as the last switch and that's how we did it guys. So once you've completed it, you will hear a, um, a sound, you'll hear Maxis start talking and that's all we need to do for step 8. So now let's move on to the last and final step. Okay guys, so now it's time for the hardest and probably most grueling part of the easter egg. We are doing sharpshooter. So how you do this is there will be four locations. As you can see, I'm standing by the candy shop and there will be another location by the haunted house and there will be another location in the town and there will be a fourth location in the saloon. So you guys need to go into these four locations and everybody needs to uh, hit these targets that pop up. And guys, I'm sorry, but I guarantee that you will not get this on your first try. If you do, that is probably one of the most amazing things I've ever seen because this is very hard, guys. You have to hit every single one of the targets. Everybody cannot miss. Well, you can miss a couple shots, but you have to make sure you hit the targets. It is very hard. But um, it takes a lot of practice. We took about 30 tries at this. We spent this step, spent about, um, I want to say an hour and a half doing this step. It seriously took a long time. We were just about to quit, but as you can see, we completed all seven perks and mind games easter egg. There you go, guys. That was the full achievement guide for Richthoff inside of the mind games easter egg. I hope you enjoyed, guys. The thumbs up rating is always appreciated, and if you have any questions, please send me a personal message message on YouTube, and I will try and reply to it as soon as possible. Sorry if this guy wasn't up to your standard, but I tried my best. Give me tips in the comment section below on what I should do better, because I always appreciate comments from my loyal subscribers. Guys, I hope you had a nice day, and if you haven't already, please subscribe if you'd like to see the latest Zombies news. And thumbs up rating is always appreciated, like I said before, because guys, I put a lot of time into this video. It was very hard, but I'm glad to finally have it done. So I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Until next time, guys, this has been Techno Spider. I'll see you all later.